Hello, my name is Kevin. I'm a solutions engineer at Ricotta, and this video will cover door schedules and schedule exceptions. Doors can be in one of three states at any given time. Unlocked, access controlled, meaning they're locked but available for someone with a credential to badge into, and locked, meaning that even if the door is presented with a credential, it will remain locked. Door schedules determine what days and times a door will be unlocked, access controlled, or locked. To create a door schedule, start on the Access homepage and then click Schedules, and then Add Schedule. Name your schedule something descriptive, then select the door or doors it should apply to. Then, configure the schedule you want by clicking on the calendar. New schedules will default to Access Controlled 24-7, but let's change it to Unlocked from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays. An additional door state is Card plus Code Entry. This is a form of access control that requires a user to present both a key card and enter a PIN code as two-factor authentication for the door to grant access. You will see two additional features as well. First Person In requires an authorized user to present a valid credential before permitting access to any other user. This can be helpful if, for example, a supervisor needs to enter a building before anyone on their team is allowed to enter. You can optionally set a grace period, which allows a supervisor to badge in early but the door will not unlock until the time specified in the schedule. Double badge allows an authorized user to override a door's schedule and place it into an unlock state by presenting their badge twice within five seconds to the door's reader. The user can double badge again to restore the door's normal schedule. This could be helpful if, for example, a receptionist needs to step away and wants to lock the lobby door until they return. They can double badge to lock the door when they leave, and double badge again to unlock the door when they return. Once you have finished setting up your door calendar, click Done, and then Save. You can also manage door schedules by clicking directly into a door page, and then Schedules across the top. Finally, let's talk about door schedule exceptions. This is used for situations when a door's normal schedule needs to change, such as for a holiday or a special event. In this case, you can create a door schedule exception. From the Schedules page, click Door Exception Calendars across the top, and then create a new schedule. The process is similar to creating a normal door calendar. Enter a name for the exception, select the door or doors you would like to apply it to, and then configure the new schedule. To help visualize how the schedule exception will interact with the door's regular schedule, click on a door that you have added and then preview on Calendar. This will show the door's normal schedule on the calendar, and you can overlay exceptions from there. If there are multiple days the schedule needs to be overridden, you can create a custom recurrence. You could also clone the exception. Once you're done, click Save to confirm your changes. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24x7 support team.